Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking back at one of the most underrated sodas to ever hit the game that still harbors a cult following, Pepsi Twist. Well before we get into Pepsi Twist, we need to go back to Pepsi Light, the first technical iteration of the drink. Pepsi Light was well, a light version of Pepsi introduced in the 60s. It had a lemon flavor to it almost only due to the fact that the drink contained saturin, a sugar alternative that had a funky aftertaste. But pretty shortly after its release, aspartame became widely available which allowed Pepsi to remove the lemon flavoring and reintroduce their diet Pepsi line. The only problem was they had already created a fan base of people who enjoyed the lemon flavoring, especially as an alternative to Coca-Cola lemon. But it wouldn't be all the way until July 12, 2000, Pepsi would first introduce Pepsi Twist, a lemon flavored cola along with a diet version. The drink only lasted for the summer and when it ended, there was still a very upset fan base. It was brought back the next year in June 2001, with it becoming popular enough to land a spot on the permanent roster until 2006 when it was officially discontinued in the United States. It did make a brief comeback in 2008 under the name Pepsi NFL Kickoff for the start of that year's football season and had a double points promotion for the Pepsi Stuff website. But since then, we haven't gotten any new release of Pepsi Twist in the US. However, there are still some countries in Europe and Asia that sell the drink. In fact, in fact, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Pepsi Twist regularly outsells the original cola. And in South America, the drink was actually infused with a lime flavor instead of lemon. Some countries like Cyprus didn't even start selling them until 2014, while Canada just brought them back for a limited edition in 2017. So, Pepsi is still very fond of this idea, and hopefully it's just a matter of time before we get it back. Pepsi Twist was marketed pretty heavily, as Pepsi knew this variation in the US was kind of a hit or miss. It was first advertised by Britney Spears throughout 2002 and 2003 as part of her endorsement deal with the brand, with the first commercial actually being a crossover with Mike Myers for the Austin Powers and Goldmember movie coming out the same year. This also led to Mike Myers guest starring in the music video for Boys, all because of Pepsi. Also, in 2003, as with every new product, Pepsi released a Super Bowl commercial for the drink, starring huge names like Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, Donnie and Marie Osmond, and Florence Henderson. In 2005, Japanese toy company Takara released an Optimus Prime figurine that came with a tiny cardboard bottle of Pepsi Twist. And it was even popular enough for American wrestler CM Punk to dub his signature move the Pepsi Twist. But sadly, none of that was enough for Pepsi to keep it going. In 2020, they replied to a fan on Twitter asking if there were any plans on the return of Pepsi Twist, which was met with a stark no. But they did say they'll pass it on to the people who care. So, probably nobody. Looking back, we see a very short story of a product that just still hasn't truly gotten its time to shine, not in over 20 years, and I think that's a little sad, especially with the undeniable fan base surrounding it and the fact that they still produce it in several countries, it doesn't seem like the American branch of Pepsi really cares about our opinions. Well, that and probably had something to do with consistently underperforming sales. But hopefully if we keep bothering them, they'll bring it back. And don't even get me started on cherry vanilla Pepsi. I appreciate you all so much for watching, it always means the world to me, and I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you remember Pepsi Twist, or other things you'd like to see us look back on. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.